the key factors that made Elon Musk rich. I'm sure that most of you by now just know Elon Musk mainly from what he has done. When you hear of Tesla and SpaceX, you just see Elon Musk. He has transformed the whole electric vehicle industry. And not just that, he gave people a whole new perspective on space travel. His company, SpaceX, is currently developing a reusable rocket whose sole purpose is to take people to Mars. Yes, he also wants to start a colony on Mars. And for sure, we can see that he is driven toward that goal. Because since he started SpaceX, that has been the primary mission. The rocket he is developing costs about $2 million per launch. About one-tenth of NASA's rockets. In general, I'm trying to show you that Elon Musk is a revolutionary man. Some might even think of him as a real-life Tony Stark. But have you ever wondered how he came from being just a regular person to being the richest man in the world? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to Juicy Wealth. Becoming a billionaire is no easy task. Unless you were born into the Saudi royal family, you would have to work more and more. But not just working, but also being really creative about it. But all in all, there are many ways to become a billionaire. But yet again, the journey to becoming a billionaire is not easy. You could decide to build a new computer operating system and build it into a big company and earn billions. Alternatively, you could approach it as Warren Buffett did, take decades to make low-risk investments and then eventually watch the wealth come slowly but surely. But then there's a third choice. Do what Elon Musk did. Elon Musk did not make billions like most of the other billionaires did. He did not develop one fantastic idea like Mark Zuckerberg did with Facebook or like Bill Gates did with the now famous Windows operating system. Instead, Elon Musk came up with several unique ideas. Instead of making some clever and safe investments, he just took some risky ones. But he was not just going for it head first. He always had a plan, even though it seemed like he did not by then. And now Elon Musk has made it the richest man in the world. Curious to know what his net worth is? Then keep watching and you'll find out. He has altered almost all the industries that he has ventured into and he is not stopping anytime soon. Born in South Africa, Musk's family was not well off. However, he was lucky enough to have early access to computers. When he was 12 years old, he created his own video game. He was clearly a smart kid back then. However, to escape military service in South Africa's apartheid regime, Musk had to leave and go to Canada when he was 17. While there, he attended Queen's University in Ontario. However, he later transferred to the University of Pennsylvania in 1992, where he studied physics and business. While in Pennsylvania, we can say that Musk had his first taste of risky business. Together with a group of friends, they rented out a house off campus and turned it into a nightclub. After finishing at the University of Pennsylvania, Musk went ahead to Silicon Valley and later grad school. Later on, Musk went on to apply for a PhD in physics at Stanford, but he felt that that was not his calling after two days. So he dropped out after the two days. At the time, most of the young entrepreneurs faced the internet. The internet was just starting to gain fame and recognition. It was seen as a newfangled web of connections between computers, but for nerds, it was more than a playground. So Musk decided to try his luck. Musk and his brother, Kimball Musk, seized the opportunity and created Zip2, an online business directory. Think of it as a web form of the yellow pages with maps. In the mid-90s, 
This was a great idea. Shortly afterward, the brothers recruited investors and sought help from outside to run the company. The company made deals with other publishers like the New York Times. However, in 1999, Compaq, a declining computer manufacturing giant, bought Zip2 for $307 million. From this sale, Musk got himself a clean $22 million. This is the point where he bought a McLaren F1 supercar. When the car was being delivered to him, Musk told CNN, it's not consistent with the rest of my behavior. But a year later, Musk ended up launching the car into the air like a frisbee while he was trying to show off his acceleration to Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel was the co-founder of Confinity, a payment startup. To make it worse, the car was not insured, so Musk had to get back into his pocket to fix the car. But luckily, Musk and Thiel escaped unscathed. By this time, Musk was already venturing into something new. Musk had spent millions while starting another online banking startup, X.com. Confinity and X.com would later merge in March 2000 to form what we now know as PayPal. At first, Musk was the CEO, but while he was on vacation in September of the same year, the board replaced him with Teal. This happened mainly because of a disagreement over switching the company's servers. However, Musk still had a stake in the company. In 2002, PayPal was bought by eBay for a whopping $1.5 billion. From this, Musk made himself a mega fortune of $180 million. In the same year, Musk founded SpaceX with one mission, to colonize Mars. In 2003, he invested more than $6 million in Tesla. It was just a pair of founders with a vision of electric sports cars by then. The company was planning to take advantage of new lithium ion batteries, both light and energy dense. At the time, lithium ion cells were only found in small electric devices. So Tesla had the innovation of scaling them up. And now, they have created electric cars with the range that no other electric vehicle has ever achieved. In the first years, both SpaceX and Tesla had rough starts. Musk says that he pushed almost all his earnings from PayPal into funding the two. SpaceX was the most hit because it endured multiple failed launches. This almost put it out of business. On the other hand, Tesla had issues as its engineers realized that their batteries would likely catch fire. And during the Great Recession in 2008, Tesla almost went bankrupt. But eventually, things started changing for the better. SpaceX made a $1.6 billion deal with NASA in 2008 while Tesla started mass production of the Tesla Model S in 2012. Right now, Tesla controls about two-thirds of the US EV market, and that's just in the US. SpaceX, on the other hand, is the largest private space company ever, with achievements even greater than NASA. At the moment, Musk holds about 17% of Tesla's stock, valued at $175 billion. This constitutes the largest part of his net worth. In addition, with SpaceX's valuation well over $100 billion, Musk's 48% stake in the company, including cash and other assets, raises his net worth to about $241.4 billion. But these are not the only companies that Musk runs and owns. He owns the Boring Company, which digs tunnels, and a neurotechnology startup called Neuralink. These two companies are currently worth hundreds of millions of dollars. They are all still growing. On December 28, 2021, Elon Musk was hosted on the Lex Fridman podcast, 
where for two and a half hours, they talked about a lot of things. During the podcast, Musk gave his tips for success. The first one is, do things that are useful for the world. As we can see with Tesla and the Tesla roof, he is trying to reduce climate change by developing safer vehicles while supporting solar roofs. Secondly, contribute to society. Musk told young people that as much as you try to be useful, make sure you give back to the community. He says to find something that overlaps your talents and what you're interested in. Third, read a lot. Try to ingest as much information as you can, Musk said on the podcast. He has launched rockets, yet he has no degree in rocket science whatsoever. When asked about how he learned to build rockets, he said, I read books. Fourth, talk to people. Musk said that the SpaceX succeeded because he talked to people who understood rockets and engineering more than he did. And last but not least, try to learn a little about a lot of things. This goes hand in hand with talking to a lot of people. Most people don't know what they want to pursue. So by reading a little bit about a lot, you end up finding out what you exactly want. This is what Musk lives by and what he would advise young people aspiring to be millionaires or billionaires. And we have seen how successful Musk is. Who wouldn't want to be like him? We have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy another one on screen now as well. Don't hesitate to check them out.